Saki's discovery. Let's discover insects with my friend Sumaya. Oh look, there's a bee flying onto a flower. I love bees because they make delicious honey. Yummy, I love honey. Did you know that there is a chapter in the Quran called Surah An-Nahl? An-Nahl means the bee. It is chapter or Surah number 16 in the Quran. Sumaya, look at that dragonfly. Subhanallah, it flies so fast. Yes, that's because dragonflies have four wings. They have to fly really fast to catch little bugs to eat. Masha Allah, that's amazing. Zaki, look at that caterpillar. Yes, Sumaya, did you know that the caterpillar turns into a butterfly after it grows. Really? Yes. Look, there's a beautiful butterfly. Subhanallah. Oh, there is another one, Zaki. I love those colors and shapes. Yes, it is so amazing how Allah created them. Zaki, Zaki, look at those hands carrying the leaves. Yes. Ants can carry up to 10 times their own weight. So that is like you carrying a small car. The Barakallah, they are so strong. Zaki. Yes, Sumaya. What is that insect called? That is a grasshopper. It likes hopping in the grass. <laughs> that makes sense. A grasshopper hops in the grass. <laughs> Sure does. Zaki's discovery. In this episode, we discovered that bees make honey, dragonflies have four wings, butterflies were once caterpillars, ants can carry ten times their weight, and grasshoppers love to hop on the grass. Insects are such amazing creations of Allah. They sure are, Sumaya. Zaki's discovery. Let's discover African animals with my friend Nadine. Look Nadine, there's a lion sleeping under a tree. Lions love to sleep and nap all the time. Did you know Nadine, that lions sleep around 20 hours a day? Subhanallah, so they are only awake around 4 hours a day? Yes, that's right Nadine. Oh look Zaki, there's a giraffe eating leaves from that tree. Oh yes, giraffes love eating leaves. Allah made their necks really long, so they can reach the leaves that are on tall trees. Masha Allah Zaki, look how many giraffes there are. They must all be going for a walk together. Hey Zaki. Yes Nadine. Cheetahs can run really fast, but... How fast can they run? Cheetahs can run at the speed of 120 kilometers per hour. As a matter of fact, cheetahs are the fastest land animal in the world. That is so fast, Zaki. Almost the same speed as a car. Nadine, look at that crocodile over there. Can you see all its teeth? Yes, I can, Zaki. Masha Allah, crocodiles have so many teeth. They sure do, Nadine. In fact, they have between 70 and 80 teeth. They need all those teeth to grab their prey, which is their food, to make sure they don't get away. That's very interesting. And that hyena over there has 59 teeth to grab its prey. The hyena's teeth are so strong that they can use them to break and eat bones. Really? I hope he never bites me. <laughs> me too. Zaki, look at that cute meerkat. MashaAllah, look at him go. He must be digging deep to catch a worm for lunch. Worms? Yes, meerkats love eating worms. Do you know what that animal is called, Nadine? Yes, that is a zebra. 
Zebras are one of my favorite animals. I love those patterns Allah created them with. SubhanAllah. Those zebras must be really thirsty. What about that big hippo over there yawning? He must be sleepy. Did you know, Nadine, that hippos are the second largest land animals in the world? They can weigh up to three tons. That is as heavy as three cars. Tabarakallah, that is a large animal. Zaki's Discoveries In today's episode, we learned that lions sleep nearly 20 hours a day, giraffes love eating leaves, that cheetahs are the fastest land animals in the world, crocodiles have around 80 teeth, and that hyenas' teeth are so strong that they can break and eat bones with them. We also saw the amazing patterns on a zebra, the hungry meerkat digging for a worm, and that hippos are the second largest land animals in the world. Subhanallah, Allah's creations are so amazing. They sure are, Nadine. They sure are. Discoveries. Let's discover Arctic animals with my friend Suhaila. Suhaila, look at that polar bear over there. MashaAllah, such beautiful fur. But Zaki, don't they get cold in the snow? Allah the Most Kind has provided the polar bear with a type of fat called blubber that is under their skin. This keeps them nice and warm in the freezing weather. That's good to hear, Zaki. Oh, look, Zaki. There's a baby penguin with its mother. Oh, how cute. Did you know, Suhaila, that a baby penguin is called a nestling? It stays with its mother for around 13 months until it can survive on its own. Suhaila, look at that snow leopard. It also has beautiful fur. It sure does. And those pretty spots make it look so nice. Yes, Suhaila, the snow leopard is an amazing creation of Allah. Zaki, Zaki, look at that orca. He looks very scary. He does, doesn't he? Did you know that the orca, which is also known as a killer whale, eats a lot of sea animals? What kind of sea animals does it eat, Zaki? It eats seabirds squid, octopus, sea turtles, sharks, rays, fish, and even whales. That's a lot of animals to choose from. It sure is. Oh, look at that arctic wolf, Suhaila. Oh, and there's a black one over there. Isn't it amazing how Allah has created them with thick fur to stay warm? Allah is so caring and kind. Suhaila! Yes, Zaki? Look, there's a snow hare hiding under a tree. Oh, it's so cute! Tabarakallah! We must have scared him away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, little snow hare. Suhaila, look! There's a seal taking a nap on that iceberg. Ooh, doesn't he get cold, Zaki? He doesn't have fur. That's true, Suhaila. But Allah the Most Kind has given seals a thick layer of fat blubber under their skin that keeps them nice and warm. Alhamdulillah, otherwise they will catch a cold. <laughs> you are right, Suhaila. Zaki's Discoveries In today's episode, we saw a white fluffy polar bear, learned that penguins stay with their mothers for around 13 months, saw a snow leopard with amazing spots on his fur, and that orcas eat lots of sea animals. We also saw a beautiful arctic wolf and a snow hare running away. Last but not least, we learned that seals stay warm from a thick layer of flat blubber that is under their skin. Subhanallah, Allah's creations are so amazing, Zaki. They sure are, Suhaila, they sure are. Zaki's discoveries. 
Let's discover sea animals with my friend Sumaya. Subhanallah, the ocean is such a beautiful place. I love going to the beach and swimming in the waves. So do I, Sumaya. There are so many fun things to do at the beach, such as fishing, building sandcastles, or just exploring things. Let's now discover some of Allah's amazing sea creatures. Zaki, look at that whale swimming with its baby. Oh yes, I see it. Did you know, Sumaya, that the baby whale is called a calf? And calves stay with their mothers for around one year. Oh, and there's an octopus, Zaki. He has eight legs. Yes, it sure does. Can you see how the octopus changes its colours? This helps the octopus hide from predators, but it also helps it catch its prey. SubhanAllah! It's so amazing how it can change its colours. Just like that, Zaki. Look over there, Sumaya. There are two clownfish looking pretty cool with those stripes. They sure do. I love clownfish. They are one of my favourite fish. Did you know that clownfish are omnivores, which means they eat meat and plants? Sumaya, look at that sea turtle swimming through the ocean. Why do sea turtles have a shell on their back, Saki? Well, Sumaya, when a sea turtle is about to get attacked by a predator, it quickly goes into its shell and hides. That way, the sea turtle won't get eaten. Allah, what a smart sea turtle. Zaki, that crab over there looks funny walking sideways. <laughs> <laughs> he sure does, Sumaya. And do you know what crabs use their big claws for? Are they to defend themselves from predators, Zaki? You're right, Sumaya. But they also use them to cut up their food to eat it. Zaki, is that an eel over there? Yes, it is. That is called a moray eel. Moray eels are nocturnal, which means they are active during the night time while hiding in rocks and coral during the daytime. That's interesting. MashaAllah, look at that seahorse, Sumaya. They are such lovely creatures to look at. SubhanAllah, they have such amazing colours. And they even look just like a real horse. I wonder what they eat, Zaki. Well, Sumaya, the seahorse has a very small mouth, so it can only eat small things, such as tiny shrimp or plankton. Zaki's discoveries! In today's episode, we saw a whale swimming with its calf, learnt that an octopus can change its colour to hide from predators, saw two pretty clownfish, and learnt that sea turtles use their shell to hide from attackers. We also saw a crab walking sideways with its big claws, learnt that moray eels are nocturnal, and saw some beautiful seahorses. SubhanAllah! Allah's creations are so amazing, Zaki. They sure are, Sumaya. They sure are. Zaki's discoveries! Let's discover Australian birds with my friend Suhaila. Look, Suhaila, there are two beautiful parrots on that branch. Masha Allah, they have such amazing colours. One is red, yellow and blue, and the other one is blue, orange and green. SubhanAllah, isn't it amazing how Allah creates them with so many lovely colours? Yes, it is. Look, Zaki, there's a magpie walking in the grass. Oh, yes, and there's one having his lunch. It must be lunchtime because there are two cockatoos having lunch up in that tree. Cockatoos love eating seeds, nuts, and even fruit. 
Oh, look over there, Zaki. There's a kookaburra. Oh, yes, I see it. Did you know, Sohele, that kookaburras laugh? Look, there's one laughing now. <laughs> look at those beautiful rainbow lorikeets. They have so many beautiful bright colours. They sure do, Sohele. I can see the colours green, orange and blue. And I can see yellow and a bit of red. Suhaila, look at that galah scratching its beak. And there's a galah drinking water. He must be thirsty. Zaki, look at that emu with its babies. One, two, three, four. It has four baby emus. MashaAllah, how cute. Did you know, Suhaila, that the emu has two sets of eyelids? One of them is for blinking, and the other one is to protect their eyes from dust. How interesting! Zaki, that pelican looks like he is enjoying the waves all by himself. <laughs> he sure does. Did you know, Suhaila, that pelicans have the largest beaks of all the birds in the world? I think he is using that beak to catch a fish. Oh, I think he got one. Look over there, Suhaila. There's a blue budgerigard stretching his wings. He must have just woken up. Yeah, I think so. Zaki's discovery. In this episode, we discovered so many types of birds and saw all their different colours. Let's have another look at them. Parrots. Magpies. Cockatoos Kookaburras Lorikeets Galahs Emus Pelicans Budgerigars SubhanAllah, Allah's creations are so amazing, Zaki. They sure are, Suhaila. They sure are. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Assalamu alaikum.